Today I'm making a video about Sherwood sticks, wood sticks. And if you see on your left, on the left side, there's a Easton. Well, to me, that's a 50-30 Sherwood. It's just Easton because Easton doesn't have a wood company to make sticks. And they use East, uh, Sherwood to make their stick. This is a 50-30 Sherwood. I don't have one in my collection, but if you can see right here close, and if you remember the Sherwoods, how they looked, this is exactly a 50-30. If you can look right here, you can see the wood grain, but they added more composite strips, which Sherwood didn't have that many. They had a couple, a little bit, but you can see right here, that's a 50-30. Finished shaft means it's glossed, and 50-30s didn't have that. Made in Canada, see? Easton did not have a Canadian plant. But the reason I'm showing you the Sherwoods because they're very popular back in the day. So from the 70s to the late 90s, the 50, 30 has been around for a long time. I would say maybe it's 35, 40 years, the same model, 50, 30, coffee curve is probably the most popular stick. Everybody knows the coffee curve, it had a lot of hook. I don't think this is a coffee curve. When we used to go and buy these, like, you know, like a dozen, like 12 bucks a stick back in the day. And they held up pretty good. The, the 50-30 had a lot of flex. And then there was a 70-30. I don't have that. I have a 7,000. So the 70-30, it was a lot, a little stiffer. And uh, then you had the 9950, which wasn't around. This is more of a 1990 stick. This is a Ray Shepard game used stick. Look at that curve. It's straight with a little flare. So I'm gonna start with this one. So this one had, they were sometimes whippy. A lot of old time players, they, they did want flex. Some of the guys that were in front of the net a lot they used a lot of flex and uh, they tried to find sticks that were flexible. So they'd bend them and see which ones were good. Then there would be guys like, a, you know, Al McGinnis, he used this model and he didn't have a lot of flex. I mean, this one's a little bit stiffer. And then the 9950, this is a lot heavier. And if the reason it's heavier, if you look right here in the light, let me see if I can shine the light for you. You see the glass? So what they did is they tried to uh, emulate a coho stick. So coho had the like the, gra uh, the glass on the outer with the wood core, wooden inner core. And then the, the wrapping's the same. This is a Sherwood wrapping, you can see. So that's how the 5030 was too. They wrapped them the same way. That's a fiberglass wrap with the resin. And they got extra strips of, you know, composite graphite going through the stick to make it stiffer and more durable. Made by Drolet. So Drolet was a company that made these. And uh, they were in Quebec. And they made also Chimo. If you remember Chimo sticks, Guy Carbono used them, Guy Lafleur, a lot of the Canadian guys used them. They were blue and white. Um, the one thing interesting that not many people know is Sherwood had a one piece stick back in 87 that came out for about a month and it wasn't graphite it was fiberglass it was hollow it retailed for about 40 dollars white with a blue letter kind of looked like quebec nordiques the blade was kind of like a titan blade it wasn't wood it was a fiberglass blade it was a one-piece stick it did not do well for some reason they only had it for about a month and then uh they discontinued it. So if you ever find one of those, hang on to it. I think it's a collectible. It's very rare. And I saw one guy use it. So the whole thing was hollow all the way up to the blade. And from there it was solid blade, but it was a fiberglass. The whole thing was a one piece. The first one piece I believe was the Kobo XL. I really think that was the first one piece in 81. It had composite, but the Synergy is the first graphite one piece but uh sherwood had a one piece stick 1987. i don't remember the numbers on it but it was a white with a blue lettering like a light blue lettering 
and it was hollow. You can look down, you can see hollow right down the middle and very thin, just like a graphite and very thin. Now the 7,000, interesting story on this. This is my own stick. This is custom made for me. And the way I got these, I have two of them, was a guy I found out was, had these. So I got his number from somebody and I called him and I said, how much you want for him or do you want to trade? And he asked me, well, what do you have for trade? And I said, I, well, what do you collect? He said, I collect Coca-Cola. So luckily I had Coca-Cola mugs with Santa Claus. I had two of those. Don't know what they're worth. And I had a Coca-Cola tray. So I traded them the three items for the two sticks. For me, I'm very happy that I got my own sticks. This is what I had when I was in the miners. This is what they made for me. This is the colors that I chose. Gold with navy. And this is the pattern. So I'd get the pattern like this, pretty standard, like a little bit of lift. And I can bend them whatever way I want with a torch. So this is how it's done. That's what I use. And uh, I'm trying to figure if this is the coffee curve or not. If you look at this, kind of looks close to a coffee curve. Maybe they tried to replicate the Iserman with the Easton, not sure. This one's all chewed up, but this is the 5030. <laughs> if I find a 5030, I'm probably going to pick one up. There's different different models of 5030 because they had them they upgraded a little bit on them over the years. But these are the sticks. And here's some of the other ones I have. I collect shafts. Have a little bit of everything. Thank you for watching my video.